So in this example, we have an example of someone who's trying to hire a car and we need to calculate the total, the approximate total cost of the journey for that person. Now, firstly, it says ask the user how many miles are they going to travel. So we need to ask for the miles. So miles is equal to int for integer, then input, and then ask them how many miles they need to travel. Then it says ask the user if they have a membership card. So we also need to ask them if they have a membership card. So we create a variable for membership, and then we put input and do you have a membership card? So we ask them the question. Then it says calculate the total cost of the journey. Now, firstly, we need to calculate the higher cost. So the hiring company charges two pa five pounds booking fee, but no booking fee for membership cards. So that's the first thing that we need to think of. We use if membership is equal to yes. So if they have a membership card, then we don't need to add the five pound booking fee. So we can do the calculations without adding the booking fee. So it says the first mile cost two pound and the rest of the miles cost five uh, 0.25 pence. So we need to do higher cost, create a variable called higher cost, and then what I did here is I deducted one from the total miles. So the total miles was 10. I deducted one from it, so the total miles become nine. Then I added two to the end. So I added two pounds to the end, but I, I deducted one mile off. This is because the first mile costs two pounds. So we don't need to mix it with the rest. Then for the rest of the miles, which is here, we multiply it by 0 0.25 because that's how much uh, each mile cost after the first mile. Then I did not add the five pounds booking fee because they, ha they do have a membership card. Now for the rest, if they don't have a membership card, we need to use else. And then with the else, we need to put we need to calculate the higher cost. Is it going to be exactly the same? So exactly the same here, but plus five at the end. This is because we have a member uh, a booking fee because they don't have a membership card. Next, it says Tom also needs to fill the car with diesel. The car uses approximately 0 0.5 in diesel per mile. So we need to create a variable for diesel and we just multiply it by 0 0.5. So miles times 0 0.5. This will give us how much. Uh, how much diesel are we going to spend? Then, well, how much money are we going to spend on diesel? Then we need to calculate the total cost. And this is done by creating a variable called total cost and then adding the higher cost by the diesel cost. So we just add the two together and then we just need to display it on the screen. So print to display it on the screen and we do it in a full sentence. So the total cost is, and we put a pound sign and then we concatenate to the comma and the verb total costs. 